Hello, Saints. Good morning. This is Power Up in 15. And on this prayer line, we do pray bold prayers. We believe God for anything and everything. This prayer line is under the ministry of Pastor Maxwell H. Webb, Cornerstone Church, Columbia, Maryland. We are also delighted to have Pastor Steve Terry of New Life Church of God in Fort Wayne, Indiana, join us each day. You may visit us on the web at www.thecornerstonechurch.net. Power Up 15 is also on Twitter. Follow us there at Power 15 Pray. Also, like us on Facebook at Power 15 Prayer. Our verse for today comes from Matthew chapter 7, verse 24. Again, that is Matthew chapter 7, verse 24. And it reads as follows. Everyone then who hears these words of mine and does them will be like a wise man who built his house on the rock. Matthew 7, 24. Let's pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thank you, Lord, for your word. Lord, this word clearly shows us that when we do as your word tells us, we will truly be just like a wise man who makes the right decisions. We then build our foundations for a good and righteous life where the winds, rains, and storms of life cannot cause us to do wrong. There is so much going on in this world that we can get caught up and lost in the foolish things and even find ourselves caught up in it. But praise you, Lord, for your living word that is pure wisdom, pointing us in the right direction. Psalms 119, verse 105, even tells us, Lord, that thy word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. <clears throat> Thank you, Lord, for your mercy, your grace, for your provisions, comfort, love, and grace. Thank you for your son, Jesus, who paid the price for us so that we could be saved and thank you for your Holy Spirit, the comforter and the alarm that lets us know when we are headed down the wrong path, saying the wrong things and even thinking wrong. Lord, it is your very word that informs us that all have sinned and fall short of the glory of, the, of you, Lord, the glory and the holiness of you. Romans 3 verse 23. And even in Romans 3, 9, verses 9 through 10, the Apostle Paul declares that both the Jews and Greeks are under sin, that there is no one righteous, not even one. This is what your word tells us. Thank you, Father, for your word, which says in Ephesians 2, verses 8 through 9, that for by grace we are saved through faith, and this is not of ourselves, it is the gift of God. It is not of our works so that no one can boost. And even, Father, in Romans 5, 8, your word tells us that God demonstrates his own love for us and that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Even in John 1, verse 12, your word tells us, but to all who have received him, those who believe in his name, in your name, God, he has given the right to become God's children. And then, hallelujah, praise the Lord in John 3, verses 16 through 18. For this is the way God loved the world, that he gave his one and only son, that everyone, everyone who believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world would and should be saved through him. The one who believes in him, in Jesus, is not content, condemned. The one who does not believe has been condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the one and only son of God. Thank you, Father. Glory to your name, Lord. Thank you, Father, who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name for your word that makes it so clear for us to receive the salvation you have provided for us. 
that in because in Romans 10 9 you tell us that if you if we confess with our mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in our hearts that God has raised him from the dead we will be saved again that's Romans 10 9 that if we confess with our mouth this is all you got to do people and believe in your heart that Jesus Christ was raised from the dead, you will be saved. Lord God, I believe that someone on this power up line right now feels you knocking at the door of their hearts, Lord, hearing you asking them to let you in. I pray that anyone who is hearing this prayer that has not accepted you as their Lord and Savior, do so right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for providing salvation for us, dear God, for reconciling our relationship with you through the blood of Jesus, dear God. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. All right. No one is promised tomorrow. Today is your chance to get it right, saints. Or, or if you're lost and you're not a saint, if you haven't accepted what you know God has provided for you, okay? It's provided it all. It's better than silver and gold, better than anything this world could ever offer you, better than any man, woman, or any other relationship. If you have not received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, do it today. Amen. So you know our ending power up word for the day, Proverbs 18, 21. Words kill, words give life. They are either poison or fruit. You choose. I choose life today, saints. What about you? You need to say these words, saints, and believe them. If it's not happening in your life now, believe that they will come to pass. Say this and believe it, saints. I am strong. I see myself the way God sees me. I have a great vision for my future. I am healthy. I am in shape. I weigh what I'm supposed to weigh. I am full of energy. I am good enough. I am passionate. I am talented. I am valuable. I am all God has called me to be. I am confident. I have a good personality. People like me and I am fun to be around. I enjoy my life. I am a person of excellence. I run with a purpose in every step. I am victorious. I am full of integrity. I am successful. I am prosperous. My future is bright. Here it is, saints. I am a child of the one true God. This is Power Up in 15. And on this prayer line, we do pray bold prayers. And we believe God for anything and everything. Again, this prayer line is under the ministry of Pastor Maxwell H. Ware of Cornerstone Church in Columbia, Maryland. And you may visit us on the web at www.thecornerstonechurch.net. Power Up 15 is also on Twitter. Follow us at there at Power 15 Pray. Also, you can listen to Pastor Well on WBGR on Wednesdays. That's again, that's WBGR. You can Google it on every Wednesday at 1130 online. We also stream our Cornerstone services live every Sunday. This concludes our corporate prayer, but we encourage you to take some personal prayer time with the Lord. He loves you so much and he wants to hear from you and talk with you. Have a blessed day, everyone.